Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Obviously it's me, like this is my channel, so it's gonna be me. I don't know, I, I just add that thought, like, why do I always say um, it's Carrie here? It's my channel, so it's obviously gonna be me making the intro. Anyway, welcome back to another video. I hope you are having a good time on the way watching this video. Today's video is a reading vlog. It's just a reading vlog. Who doesn't love a reading vlog? I love reading vlogs. I live for reading vlogs. I watch them every day. I have to say something, I have to be completely honest. I was gonna make a reading vlog, obviously, and the books I wanted to read was Powerless by Lauren Roberts, Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher, and Iron Flame by Rebecca Yarrows. But as you can guess, I already read those three books without recording. Well, I did record Iron Flame. Iron Flame was like the only one I actually recorded. But then I read Powerless and Love Redesigned without recording because one thing about me is if I start a book and I'm into the book, I can't stop it. Because if I go, oh, I'm going to continue it tomorrow, and I do not continue that tomorrow, I would not read it for like two weeks. So like, finish the book. Or else it just won't get read. I started Love Redesigned on Sunday after finishing Iron Flame. And I read like two chapters. But I was like, oh, I'm going to make a vlog, so I'm not going to read it now. I'm going to come back tomorrow and, you know, make a vlog. No. It didn't happen. After college on Monday, I was just sat there, read the whole thing, or literally 500 pages of this. I read the whole thing i didn't get any single vlog for this but it's definitely something i'd like reread because i really love this book so freaking much it's amazing i love lauren asher she just does it so well it's like a billionaire hello i also read powerless by lauren roberts sarah recommended this because she loves it so much i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna get it so i got it and i love it also the ending excuse me the ending why is it ended on a cliffhanger why do fantasy books end like that and the next one comes out in May, so I have to wait like six months for it. But these two books are absolutely amazing. If you're thinking of reading them, read it. Back to the video. Since the main books I want to read have been read, I'm just going to read something else. So I do want to read Check and Mate by Ali Isawood, but I don't know when. Probably I'll start on Friday. It's Wednesday today. Because tomorrow I have my interview, so I can't do reading tomorrow. Maybe when I get back. Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I'm like, and then I have like two Christmas books I want to read in December. It's Wednesday, 29 November. Everyone is like, you need to read The Seven Years Sleep. Like, you have to read it. So maybe I'll read this. So the first book I'm going to be reading is Chicken Meat by Ali Isabood. And this book is mostly about chess. The main character is Mallory Greenleaf. And the guy is Nolan Sawyer. So we're going to see how this story goes. Do I really know what this is about? No. I've never played chess in my life, so... Not too sure. I'm actually so excited. I love Ali so much. Also, it, like the cover is so pretty. It's pink. I just need to give you my two cents. Mal, we're gonna call her Mal. Our nickname is Mal. She's the one taking care of her family. Like, something happened to her father. Well, I don't know what. They haven't really told us what happened to her father yet. She's going through so much at home. She's the only one who is working to make both ends meet and take care of her mother and her two sisters. And I kind of feel bad for her, you know? I'm like, oh my gosh. But our two sisters are Sabrina and Darcy. Sabrina is, I think, 14 now. She's like a, the teenager, while Darcy is still like 10. Mallory no longer plays chess. She grew up playing chess with her father like all the time, but now she doesn't play chess and we don't actually really know why and our best friend is like um i need you to play like in this tournament i need four players and only have three so like please just do this like it's just chess it, it's a game you, it's for a charity you know and then when she does go to play the tournament the chess thing that's when she met the guy Mullen. it's so exciting Oh my god, why is this funny? All of them together are like so funny, they're comedic. I'm not gonna lie, they're so funny. Oh 
also the highest. Mallory is bisexual, so she goes both ways. Which I think is really cool. I love the representation of like different sexualities in books. I just love that. Mallory um, lost a job and because she's the breadwinner of her family she needs to find a new job and after the tournament she played oh I don't want to spoil it after that tournament she got approached by this lady to just to play chess so she gets to play chess she has like a contract for a year and if she wins like let's say the chess tournament the winner gets like 50,000 she gets all that money and she has wanted to take care of her family and she's like should i do it or should i not do it and her best friend's like just do it don't think of chess as something you love just think of it as a job and after 5 p.m when you clock out don't think about it she doesn't want chess to destroy her because it brings up like bad memory from like back when she plays chess with the father a sister sabrina just called her egotistical I'm like hello she's the one paying for everything like they don't appreciate what she's doing for them hey 15. i'm really not this all in one night because it's that good i'm loving this book so far it's amazing honestly if you think they were reading it go ahead and read it but just know when you're reading it romance is not the main focus the main focus is chess mandatory rediscovering our love for chess you know getting back into the game also the guy nolan is a sam yeah oh my gosh yeah this guy is like i'll pay you to play chess with me like i just want to play with you one more time is whipped it likes her so much i just not like her so much one thing i don't like about books is thought acts break up I don't want them. Why does it have to happen? It doesn't need to happen. It's unnecessary. We don't need it. Let them be happy. No. Listen. Um, she goes, why did you keep it? It's that it made me think of you. She goes, why would you keep something that makes you think of me? He goes, because I think of you anyway, Mallory. Yes. part three end game because it's in three parts you know the first part is opening and then part two is middle game and then part three is end game oh yeah in the end game they have to compete against each other and i don't know if i've said this but like for like the last month or two they've been practicing together so they know each other's strengths and weakness and unexpectedly they don't have to compete against each other Epilogue. I love the way it's written. The epilogue is like an article. I finished this book. Let's talk about it. I was on Goodreads and I was reading some reviews and some people were like, oh my gosh, I don't like that she's putting like pop culture in the books. She mentioned like, TikTok, Riverdale. Some people were like, I don't like that she did that. But I'm like, I don't mind it. I actually love it. I haven't rated it on Goodreads yet. I've read 118 books this year and I'm going to rate Check and Maze about like a 4.5 stars, which I'm going to do right now. Also, this book is a young adult book. This book is amazing. I love how the focus is about Mallory and how she's letting go of the past. And we found out why our dad is no longer in the picture and what happened and why she swore off chess and how she overcame all of that and got back into playing chess because she really loves chess. It was like the one thing she did with her dad growing up. So I love that. We saw all of that. She developed so much as a person. He's literally in love with her. Like, I love that. I love that for her. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna like follow you wherever you go. It's literally like a fluffy, nice, white novel. If you don't want anything like too heavy or like too much, you literally just read this and like you'll be set for life. Just read this and you're set for life. This book made me laugh out so much and I love the character so freaking much. I want to go back and read this book already. I'm ready to read it again. 
I read it in less than three hours. Look, that's so good. It's that good. I just sat here and read the whole thing. If you're thinking about reading it, definitely do it. Also because it's pink. Just get it because it's pink. So that is all I have for the first book. And then I'll see you guys another day for the next book that I'm going to be reading in this vlog. It's the next day. Yesterday I read Chicken Mates by Alison. I still got my glasses on because I'm trying to wear it more. I don't wear them, which is bad. I know. I've like suffered to see. I'm like the whole time I'm squinting. The next thing I'm going to be reading. I can kind of make this like a Christmas reading vlog, do you think? Anyway, the next thing I'm going to be reading is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I love Tessa Bailey so freaking much. And this is a Christmas book. It's two weeks before Christmas and all through Manhattan. This is set in New York. Shop windows are decorated in red and green satin. I am standing alone in front of the famous Vivian department store when a charming man named Aiden asked for my opinion of the deco. It's a tragedy intense, who I say. Unable to lie, he asked for a better idea with a twinkle in his eye. Did I know he owned the place? No. He put me on the spot. Now I am working for that man trying to ignore that he's hot. But as a damn when I lock out with a difficult past, I know an opportunity when I see one and I have to make it last. I'll put my heart and soul into dressing his holiday windows. I'll walk without stopping. And when we lose the battle with temptation, I'll try and remember I am just window shopping. Yeah, that just made me so excited to read it. Also, Luke is kind of like a small book. It feels like a novella. Look at the difference. Like, you see? Like, this one is massive. This one feels like a novella. I'm super excited to read it. It has 248 pages. So I'm going to start reading it now. And I want to try to finish it today. She just met someone. I think it's it might be the guy. I don't even know any of their name. The girl is Stella. I don't know the guy's name yet. I don't know if this is just my luck, but this book just mentioned TikTok. The other book I was reading also mentioned TikTok. Am I on a TikTok row? You know, it's TikTok hour. Also, my book cards. I have so many books. Honestly, like books on my physical TV. I feel like it'd be such a long video. No, keep boring because I have way too many books on my TV. I'm only on page eight. I don't know. What, I'm reading it so slow. Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. If you're hearing that sound, it's the ether. The ether is on because it's like frozen. <laughs> she just had like a panic attack about being locked up again because like she she the door locked. And he came to our rescue. Do you know what I'm hearing? Wedding bells. Wedding bells. That's all I'm hearing. Wedding bells. I'm on page 45. FOMO fear of missing out I'm currently on page 194 I've got 54 pages left in update things and he goes i am a changed man hell i am a grateful man in more ways than one just having stella here in my home is more than enough i can't believe i'm feeling giddy over a book it's it's cute he calls her beautiful i don't want to finish this book but I do want to finish it. I want to finish it because then I'd have to like 
be done with it. And I was like, move on. It's 11. I finished this book. I finished window shopping by Thessabili and I gave it four stars on Goodreads. I'm just gonna tell you what I think about it. Honestly, I love the book. It's such a cute little small tiny book to read and it's set in New York like that's just magical and also like set around Christmas time so there's lots of Christmas and Christmas traditions going on I guess you could say and there is a bit of like a unexpected bit when you find out that about like the female character i don't want to spoil the final one just go ahead and read it i wish there was more pages it's just i need more about them i need more in depth i feel like there isn't like really that much depth to it but it's so fun to read you honestly that's a lot of for now it's literally like 12. i'm really tired i'm gonna go to bed and maybe tomorrow or some other day i'd have more things to say about this book if you're looking for like a fun christmas read this one go for it and i only got it for two pound fifty in the works so like if you live in england go copy it these are the two books i've read so far in this reading vlog and i don't know maybe i'd read one more book a christmas book see you next time